Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'm here to tell you about the new key editor in write mode in Dorico 4. Dorico has always offered piano roll MIDI editing in play mode. Now we're bringing the key editor to write mode, so you can edit and fine-tune your music right alongside the notation. The key editor is found in the newly expanded lower zone, shown with the key command Control-8. That's Command-8 on Mac. The key editor is opened with the rightmost panel selector button. The editor can be made taller by dragging the control to the right of the lower zone toolbar, and there is a zoom control that can be set to work either horizontally or vertically. When the link button is activated, making a selection in the notation will display the music for that instrument in the key editor, the shaded area indicating the system that is in view. Switching to different instruments or different places in the music will update the key editor view and zoom to fit the music. Scrolling or zooming in the key editor will deactivate the automatic link until you click the button again. Selections in the notation are reflected in the key editor and vice versa. The key editor toolbar has a number of tools for creating and editing the music. The first button is the select tool that lets you select individual notes. Hold shift while you click to select additional notes. Or while pressing the shift key, click and hold for a moment to start a marquee selection. You can drag the middle of notes to change their rhythmic position or pitch. Drag at either end of the note to change their duration from the start or end. The notation, of course, reflects these edits immediately. The next tool is the multi-select tool that allows a marquee selection without holding down the shift key. And any subsequent click adds to or subtracts from the current selection rather than clearing it making it easy to make edits to a number of notes at once. The Draw tool allows you to click to create notes. You can still select and edit notes with the Draw tool, meaning you do not need to keep switching tools. The Delete button deletes any currently selected notes. The Key Editor displays tuplet regions and allows you to freely edit tuplets of any ratio. It even supports dragging notes in and out of tuplet regions and converts them effortlessly. The key editor uses its own independent rhythmic grid, set here, that affects the divisions notes snap to as they are created and edited. As with previous versions of the Dorico key editor, you can view played note durations. The thin line at the bottom of each note shows the notated duration, and the thicker line shows how it is played. You can see the automatic humanization applied by Dorico following the settings in playback options. You can override these on a note-by-note -note basis by any arbitrary amount. They do not snap to the rhythmic grid. So you can add specific nuance to a performance. To make it easier to understand exactly what you're looking at, notes from a single voice are shown colored while the other voices are shown in gray. This dropdown lets you specify which voice you are highlighting. This becomes automatic when linked mode is engaged. Below the piano roll is the playing techniques lane, which shows the active technique that Dorico will be using to influence sound library playback. Hovering over the lane will display the expression map and routing information for that region. You can choose to hide the playing techniques lane. The velocity and controller editors are found at the bottom of the panel. Click anywhere in the lane to enable it for editing. Do the same with the piano roll. Use the same tools to draw in values and edit them. And there is a line tool for making gradual changes across a selection. You can add MIDI controller automation lanes here, draw in values using the tools, and switch between lanes that contain data. Select a point to fine-tune it and toggle between being a constant or linear point. A future update will allow you to view multiple lanes at once. There's a new multi-edit tool for editing velocities. Select a range of values that you wish to edit, then use the tools to tilt left or right, 
apply a uniform delta, scale all of the values, or even randomize across the selection. You can also edit velocity using the histogram tool. Now the histogram displays the distribution of all velocity data points from low to high. For example, this histogram shows a few notes that have a high velocity, a few notes that have a lower velocity, but the majority are around this central point. I can choose between making changes to all notes for an instrument, the current voice, or just the selected notes. That's a selection you can make in the notation. The tools allow me to make all velocities higher or lower in order to make an entire selection louder or softer. And I can scale those velocities up or down as well. I can reduce or increase the overall range of the velocities. If there are a few notes distributed across the selection that perhaps are too quiet or too loud, I can cap those by using these controls. And you can randomize the velocities for the given selection as well. The histogram is a very powerful tool, though it can take a bit of experimentation to fully realize its potential. So have a play with it. The new key editor brings increased levels of power and performance to Dorico, but this is just the beginning, and we are already working hard to bring more features to this area, including multiple concurrent editors and a reinstated dynamics lane. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up to let me know, and subscribe to the Dorico channel right now to see much more like this. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.